Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. Ray, we were talking to the coaching staff before this one. They talked about having to make some decisions possibly after tonight here. Well, it looks like both teams will get their numbers down a little bit more. As you get into the last couple of games, you want to have one group at practice, one group that you're picking the players from, not 30 or 40 guys anymore. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Sends it in deep. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck across to Morrissey. Quick pass to Wheeler. Wrists one. Nothing. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. The Jets have it against the wall. Taken along the wall by Tarasenko. Dumps it in. Perron's exploring options with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Tarasenko. Thunderous use of the body on the play. Quick pass across to Connor. Puck scooped up by Perron. From the point, they take control of it. And he makes the save. From the back of the cage with the puck. Here's a blast. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Quick feed to Connor. Taken by Falk. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Perron. That pass doesn't go. Morrissey's got it into offensive territory. And he takes a shot. Can't get it to go. Denies him. He got all of it. Moves the puck across to Thomas. Moves it to Bozak. Couldn't complete the play. From the top of the offensive zone here. And he comes up with it. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Gustafson's won a big draw on their own end. Now a quick pass to Lewis. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. His reflexes on display tonight. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Quick pass to Bortuzzo. Slides it back to the blue line. And that goes wide of everything. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Through center along the wing. Directed over to De La Rose. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Battling for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. Grabbed along the boards by Gustafson. With possession along the wall. St. Louis has it near the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Pumps the puck away. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Grabs it in his own end. The Jets play it along the boards. As the puck skips into the crowd to one lucky fan, we'll get a face off here on the ice. I love making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've still got zeros on the board. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Pokes it away in his own end. Bringing the physicality tonight. And he sends it across to Thomas. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Centering pass. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Pokes the puck away. Takes the pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Here he is in front. Shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Sends the pass across the ice. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Jets will play it through the neutral zone. 
Regains possession at center. Puck dumped in. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. St. Louis has possession of it now. Big play inside the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Falk. Moves it on over to Perron. The Blues take it along the wall. And now it's over to Sundqvist. Handles the puck. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. Sundqvist got it across the line. He clearly doesn't like that. Couldn't make that one happen. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like... He and they're going to go. There's the whistle stopping the play and allow him to get off the ice and get a much-needed breather here. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Now that their dust-up is over, they can go to the box, grab some water, and try and catch their breath. I'm always amazed at how tired these guys are after their fights. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Tosses it to Wheeler. Thompson's got it in the offensive zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And that one's broken up. Sends a pass over. Puts it in deep. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Thompson. Puck moved over to Walker. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick feed to Perron. Too much congestion in front. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. You can get new styles of jerseys, shirts, hats, and more in our team store. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We're still scoreless. The Blues win the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Hoffman. Right out in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Into the middle of the neutral zone. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Sends it over to Bozak. Steps inside. He says, let's get physical on that play. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Slides it to Gustafson. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. And that one's broken up. Moves it to De La Rose. Passes on over to Thomas. Nice poke check. Quick pass to Krug. St. Louis on the attack. Move to the middle. Takes the feet at the back end. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Harkins plays it into the offensive zone. Here's a chance and makes a save. You want to pay off all your bills with one swoop swoop? Don't forget that 50-50 draw is coming up in the third period. Grab your tickets for a chance. Gillies can use a little help in front of him. If it's not turnovers, it's this. An odd man rush, but he makes the stop. Just here in the late stages of this frame, still no score in this one. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Jets scoop it up along the boards and tries to make a diagonal pass to Ehlers. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Perron's picking up steam. Out front! And that one's broken up. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Final minute approaching minute here in this opening frame. The Jets are on the attack. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Uses the force on that hit. Puck grabbed by Falk. And he'll take a step back here, deep inside his own zone. And he hangs on just as time runs out.
out. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Hey, man, it's time for our parachute drop. If you'd like to join our insider club here tonight, you can get exclusive. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Winnipeg's played themselves a really good first period. They've had the puck at the net. They've got rebound opportunities. They haven't found a way to finish, however. Here's a short pass. Scores! This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. The Jets must be surprised they don't have more here, Razor. Maybe a little relieved, too. Finally, they get one to go in the net. They've carried the play. Winnipeg's won the draw. Scored by number 81. Move to the middle. Quick feed to Fulk. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Throws it in. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to DeMello. And it's a quick pass to Connor. Here's a chance. Drifts it and rips it. Denies him with the save. is on it tonight. That slapper is really moving, and he turns it aside. Winnipeg's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Stasty's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. He was locked in there. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Moves it to the offensive zone. Moves it to Bortuzzo. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Nice pass. And now he passes it to Ehlers. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Picked up along the boards by Ehlers. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. There's the whistle. And here's the call. The Blues have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. I don't have too much trouble with that. That becomes a dangerous hit when you go that far, that fast. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. You can really gain some momentum on your first power play, even if you don't score. Get some chances, make it a positive event. St. Louis looks to go on the attack. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Chaps the puck away. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. And now it's grabbed by... Scores! Power play goal! Uh, critical for them to get on the board with the extra man. They move the puck well and they're able to capitalize. create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Winnipeg's widen that gap here to a 2-0 lead in this middle frame. I heard from their bench about time. They felt like they were going to break through, and they have. Sent into the offensive zone. The Jets have it against the wall. Picked up along the wall by Fulmer. Gains the zone from the right side. Wheeler's got it along the boards. Puck scooped up by Tarasenko. Sends it over to Perron. Rocks him on the play. Winnipeg's got the puck here in the open ice. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that.
Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter stick. Winnipeg's had them on their heels all night, and they've been lighting the lamp a lot too here. Yeah, they've had an almost perfect hockey game so far. I've loved the way they've played this game. We'll see if they can take it home. And we're still only in period number two. Turn that chance aside. Hellebuck's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Quick pass to Lewis. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. They'll get a chance on the power play for the very first time. They spent some time this morning working on it. Nice defensive robbery on that. Denied that one. Winnipeg's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. The Blues win the draw. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Quick feed to Perron. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Lowry's got the puck along the wing. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Winnipeg's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Thomas wins it in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to Perron. Here he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 3-0 is the score. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Hammers it. Turns him away. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Here's a short pass to Gustafson. Smart defensive play there. Moves it quickly over to Barbashev. The Jets will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Works it across to Barbashev. Sends the pass over. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Into the attacking area from the left side. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Poked away from danger. Denies him again. Moves it to Barbashev. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Pulley is called for tripping. He's off to the box. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. The Blues will get a small sample size of a five on three. The puck battles become more important when you don't have much time. You better win the puck, whether it's on the... He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. You do a nice job there. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The root wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early. Opened up some space up top. The Blues have shown some life here in the second. 
It's about time, James. They're down two. They've got a long way to go to claw back into this. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Great poke check on the reach. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And manages to clear the zone. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And that goes off a player in front. Quick pass to De La Rose. The Blues carry it along the wall. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And a successful clearing attempt. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Slides it over to De La Rose. Makes his presence known on the ice. And that's picked off. Puck slid down the ice. St. Louis has it near the wall. De La Rose slides the puck through center. Taken by Hoffman. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Quick feed to Hoffman. The Blues move it in. Move to the middle from point blank range. Answered the call there. Winnipeg's not stopped being on the body since the beginning of this period. They are crashing into every guy they can. They've now got the lead. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Jets are up 3-1. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Through pass ahead. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Good clearing attempt to breathe. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Picking up some steam at center ice. Perron's carrying it ahead. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Jets have been getting solid offensive contributions leading 3-1. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Shuts him down. The Blues fail to capitalize on the power play. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Poli has got the puck. And he slides it quickly to Lowry. Moves the puck. What a stop! St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Stops him with a bomb! Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Jets take it across the blue line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. Looks to make a play over to Wheeler. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender! Big time stop on the break! Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Dubois. Receives the pass. It scores! You give up one, you can't fold. You gotta punch back. And they get one quickly after giving up a goal. It's like that old song, I get knocked down, but I get up again. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. have really opened things up here in the second. It's getting out of hand. They've run roughshod over their opponent here in this period. It seems like they're going to score every shift. Tucker Takes the feed. Moves it to Bortuzzo. No room for that one to get through. Takes the pass. 
with the stop. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Jets have taken control of this one, now leading by three. St. Louis wins the draw. Quick pass to Hoffman. Couldn't complete the play. Ehlers brings it in. Levels him with the hit. And now he moves it to Forbort. Off the one-timer, and that's blocked. St. Louis plays it up ahead. And a poke check knocks the puck away. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. And now it's over to Thomas. And he slides it quickly to Hoffman. The Blues move it ahead. He got all of that hit. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Lowry. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Forbort. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's a short pass to Krug. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to De La Rose. Denies him on the play. And now he moves it quickly to Krug. Rocked him along the wall. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Solid check to slow him down. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Handles it along the blue line. And that one's turned away. Lewis throws a board rattler here. That one hurts if you're on the receiving end. Late goings of this period. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 to score. The Jets take it across the line. Rocked him in the open ice. Slides the puck over. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Moose to Gustafson. Look out, a two-on-one. Here he is with the backhander. Made the stop on that play. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. And he regains control of the puck. Made that stop. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Gillies takes a dangerous scoring chance and turns it away with his stick save. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. He got all of that one. The Jets look to break out before the period ends. Sends a pass over. The Blues move to the offensive zone. Moves right to the middle. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Now's your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena as the first force and entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% renewable energy. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the... Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. For joining us in a campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Winnipeg's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. And he whiffs on it. And they can't convert to the play. And now he angles it across to Perron. Oh, he'll feel that one. And now it's to Fult. Nice pass. Puck picked up by Morrissey. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Strong defensive effort. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. The Jets gain possession along the wall. From the left side, and he's going after him here, and they're going to go. Yeah, he accepts the challenge. This looked like it was going to start over the last 10 or 15 seconds. Oh, and he caught him 
right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Not much to be said from the home team here. Their bench kind of quietly sits back down after their guy comes on the losing end of this bout. Yeah, the air from this building seems to have just deflated in here. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the faceoff. Stastny's won the draw here in the open ice. Passes the puck over to Ehlers. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Blues played along the boards. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Battle along the boards. In close! Scores! He stayed with it and buries the rebound. I'm not sure if there was any communication on that play at all. Both defensemen end up so far out of position, the slot is wide open, and the shot beats the goalie. The Blues have got one back here now in the third. They're really going to have to push. You're going to run out of time here in the last period. St. Louis will go to work as they win the draw. Drills them. Pokes it away in his own end. Sends the pass over. Across the line from center. Quick pass to Wheeler. The easy glove save by Gillies. Well, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not there. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Blues are still trailing by two. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Scores! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. We are not done yet here. Buckle up. Don't even think about leaving your seat. Yeah, they got their track shoes on now. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Blues are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Rocks them. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Winnipeg's got the puck behind the net. The Jets will play it in their own end. Dubois moving it ahead. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it over to Wheeler. Connor's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Moves the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Walker. Picks off the pass. Scooped up along the wall by Connor. St. Louis has possession of it now. Tarasenko's got it along the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Hellebuck's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs the critical goal. Gillies bails his team out. This is a terrific save on a really good chance. St. Louis has had more shots tonight, but that hasn't translated into the goal-scoring department as they trail in the third. Scoops up the puck here. Gains the zone from the right. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Tries to get it to Forbort. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. With the blast, denies him with the save. More than half the period left to play. The Jets lead it 4-3. Thomas wins the draw on their own end. Quick feed to Krug. Feeds the puck over to Hoffman. On the attack along the boards. Came up with the save on that play. 
Now, well, whatever you got to do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Cuts it to the front of the net. Busted up. Scores! We well, just keep working away. Your lines roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot ties the game. And now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. I'm not so sure where everybody went defensively, but to get that open in the high slot doesn't happen very often. That pass is on the tee, and he puts it away with a one-timer. St. Louis has made this must-see viewing here in the third period as they have evened things up. They've had the puck the full period, finally. Somebody cashes in, and now you get into the last half of the period with a real chance to win. Pass across to Hoffman. St. Louis is across the blue line. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to He scores! And the deadlock's been broken. Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. Oh, what an effort. He did everything he could to stop that. But he gets beat anyway. The Blues take a huge lead here now in the late stages of this one. Question is, can they hang on? Hanging on's the wrong way to do it. You want to try and be aggressive if you can. See if you can melt the game. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Gustafson's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Officials stop the play finally, allowing the injured player to get off the ice. He took a pretty solid jolt there, James. Uh, we're going to have to check in on him in a second. Three seconds. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. St. Louis leads by one. The Jets get a hold of the puck off the draw. Big play inside the defensive zone. Barbashev swooping in on the attack. Here he is on the backhand. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. The Blues have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Centering pass in front. Monster save by Hellebuck. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Moves it to Connor. Taken down and the officials caught it. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Takes that pass back at the point. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Jets send their man advantage unit out once more. They've been trying to push for the tying goal. Now they're going to get an opportunity on the power play. St. Louis wins the faceoff, trying to get the puck out of his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. St. Louis gains the zone. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Ehlers. Couldn't connect on that pass. And we've got a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Polia. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Nice poke check. Great defensive stick work on the play. They're wearing down the other team's defense with this cycle in the offensive zone. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. The 
the Jets have tied things up here in the late stages of this. It's been a fun one tonight. It's been a good ride. They've had to find a way back to get this game level. Now they've got a chance to pull it out here in the last part of the third period. The Blues take it along the wall. And that one's broken up. Takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Connor. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Right up front, and they can't connect. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Solid hit on that play. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Dished on over to Forbort. Connors gaining momentum. Let's it fly. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Nobody wants to take a step back here. One team makes a hit. It seems like the other team's got to answer right away. It's been like that all game long. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Fulk. Gets the puck in deep. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Sharp breakout pass there. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. St. Louis has it near the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it in on the attack. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Lowers the boom with that hit. Takes it and looks ahead. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Maintains possession. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Receives the pass. Tries to the crease. Beautiful stop with the stick. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it across to Sundqvist. And it's a quick pass to Perron. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Here in the late going of the frame, we got a tie game. Dubois won the draw here in the offensive zone. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Dubois won the draw here in the neutral zone. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Here's a shot, and makes the save. Big stop by the keeper. Here's a short pass to Bozak. And now he moves it to Hoffman. Intercepts the pass at center. The Blues have it against the wall. Right up the gut, here they go. Into the middle of the neutral zone. A chance on the redirect. Oh, he got puddled by Hillebuck. Great reflexes, another save. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. With authority again. James, I'm almost feeling sorry for him here. He's been throttled so many times tonight. And that one's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. That pass goes a little sideways. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. Overtime is just moments away. Winnipeg's going to have to make an adjustment here. Their injured player will not be back tonight. 
Overtime action is underway. Absolutely love it. And now it's over to Tarasenko. Jabs the puck away. Taken by Connor. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. Fantastic save. Hellebuck's able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Coughs it up on the play. Here's a shot, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Puck grabbed by Dubois. Moves it to Morrissey. He scores! OT winner! The Jets needed overtime, but they come away with the victory here. Just your head down and keep working. Now you get into the extra frame, you get your chance. You better not miss, and they didn't. For Ray Pearl, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Twin Cities. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Really starting to get to the meat of the preseason here where those bubble guys are probably feeling really uncomfortable right I now. I would say there's probably six or seven games on each team that really are feeling the pressure in a preseason game like this. They're trying to make the team or be among the very first call-ups. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Takes the feed. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Puck scooped up by O'Reilly. And he denied that opportunity. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Erickson X got it on the offensive end. Here he is in close. Stick save by Bennington. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Quick pass to Hoffman. Takes the pass. Perron's got it along the wing. Here he is in front. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Sends it quickly to Fiala. Takes it from the right side. Quick feed to Parisi. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick. Good check. Frees the puck up. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Blues are in transition. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Parisi. Snaps one here in the slot. And he scores! Sack Parisi lights the lamp. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. The Wild have struck first here and quickly at that. Yeah, they get the first goal here, James, and now on their front foot, they want to push for a second in this first period. Musa quickly over to Dumba. There's the physical side. Handles the puck. Oh, slick work with the glove by Bennington. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Bennington. Another stop by the goaltender. Moving into the attacking zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's see the call here. Sucarello's going to the box for tripping. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box.
St. Louis sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. They'd love to square this game off with a power play goal. Here's a chance. It starts with the faceoff in the offensive zone. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Quick feed to Thomas. Slides the puck over. Falk's going to play it against the half wall. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Feeds it to Johnson. Sends it in deep. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. Great cross-ice pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. With possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Blay. Can't connect! Can't connect! Centering pass! And that one's broken up! Great block there! Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. They score! They were talking this morning about the notice of vulnerabilities on that other power play. They thought they could attack it, and they cash in on a short-handed goal. The goaltender goes down just a little bit quickly here. He opens up the top of the net and gets beat over the stick side. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Moves it to Shen. St. Louis plays it against the boards. From the slot, fires away. Made the stop on the play. High quality chance, high quality save. Thumb has played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. Minnesota's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. 50 seconds. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Dumps it in. Slides it diagonally to Shen. The Blues play it along the boards. Strong defensive effort. And now it's grabbed by Spurgeon. Quick pass to Hoffman. Oh, what a hit! There's the whistle stopping the play. The Blues are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Trying to get to the puck, he reaches his stick right into the guy's feet. And down he goes. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Lots of puck support, four-on-four. Four. Get over close to your players so you can move the puck quickly. See if you can catch the other guys out of position. Loses his balance on the play. St. Louis moves it ahead. That's a solid hit. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Johansson. And that's picked off. And now he angles it across to Schwartz. And he slides it quickly to Falk. He scores! Not quick enough or not in the right position. In any case, the goalie gets just a little piece of the shot, and it's in the net. The Blues got to be feeling better about themselves after getting that one, Ray. Yeah, they cut the lead to one here and now have a little bit of momentum before the intermission. Puck picked up by Scandella. Minnesota's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's blocked away. The Blues gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Still lots of time left in the period. The Blues make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Tees off the one-timer. That's blocked. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. Taken by Pareko. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. 
The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Parisi's got it across the line. The Blues gain control of it. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. From the left side, takes it at center. He almost lost it for a second. Puts it in for the power play goal! I made a living on the power play, and you can tell early in a power play if it's going to be any good or not. If you're scrambling all over, it's not going to go that two minutes. This one worked perfectly. And the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. O'Reilly's won the draw. Folks got it against the boards. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And that one's broken up. Erickson X got it into offensive territory. Right in front with the shot. Nothing doing. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center right in the slot. And he gets a whistle up there. They've been under siege here. They look like five strangers trying to defend in front of him. No Finally, kidding. he's able to cover it up. Past the halfway mark of this period, Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Played big in the moment there. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. The power play always feels a little bit nervous when they've given up a shorty in a game as they did earlier. But here's another chance. Go get a power play goal, even it up. Cole stick handling in his own zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Setting up behind his own net now. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick feed to Thomas. Manages to hang on. Keeps hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Crew. Stones up with the blocker. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Too many bodies in the way. Moves it quickly over to Crew. Trying to get it out of the zone. Cross the blue line and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Thomas plays the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Talbot's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. O'Reilly's won the draw. Big time stop. Grabbed along the boards by O'Reilly. Right in the slot, and that's blocked. Minnesota's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck clears the zone. St. Louis has possession of it now. Slides it quickly to Schwartz. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And that pass goes awry. Here's a short pass. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. The goaltender gets into the butterfly. He's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. He's got lots covered. Not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. St. Louis has to be feeling good about themselves because it could have got out of hand quickly. Yeah, certainly they, this goal stems the tide a little bit. Now you got half a period to try and equalize this game. Wax it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. St. Louis on the attack. Snapper from the slot, scores! Two goals in 50 seconds, so 
quickly on the board. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. Oh, we can see on the replay here, the goalie just gets a little piece of this shot, not near enough. It's in the net. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. St. Louis wins the draw in the neutral zone. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Knocked away. Moves it to play. Throws it on goal. Denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Barbashev. There's another stop. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. The centermen glide into position. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Slides the puck across to Hartman. Sends a pass over. Nice zone entry from the right side. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. The Blues are up by one here in the first. Nice to get a leg up here in the game, but there's still lots to go. St. Louis will go to work as they win the draw. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Hartman. Scrum along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Here's a chance right in front. Comes up with the steal. Puts it in deep. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And loses possession after a solid hit. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. The Blues are getting two minutes for tripping. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Minnesota's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come. But now you've got a great opportunity on the power play. And tries to make a diagonal pass. He scores! It's in! And that's three right. I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacts when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. Both power play goals are a shot, a rebound, a quick pass around the front of the net. Here's another one. Win the draw and shoot it right away. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Erickson X, one possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Blues have it against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. Minnesota's got position at center. Let's the wrister fly. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. From one point man to another. Made the stop on the play. Pennington's the last line of defense, and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. St. Louis with a big defensive zone face-off. Quick 
feed to Johansson. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Blues will serve two minutes in the box. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Minnesota's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. The Blues get a hold of the puck under man, and they manage to clear it. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Oh, that's a good hit. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Looking to break out here on the power play. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. They clear the zone. Picked up along the wall by Dumba. Nice pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. And that was stopped. The Blues will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Absolutely wallops a big hit. He moved into the position to deliver the hit so quickly. Nowhere for the skater to go. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Coming up in the third period. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Shens won the draw here in the open ice. Taken along the wall by Thomas. Loose puck battle along the boards. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left side, they gain the zone. Shot in front. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. And the puck leaves the zone. Picked up along the boards by Fiala. Sends the pass over. Hartman's got it in the offensive zone. Turns it away. And moves the puck into a high-pressure situation. There's the horn for period number one. Holy moly, what a shootout here in the first period. Fans, your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes live from our tickets for kids' luxury box. Thank you for your generosity. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. James Slavowski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Minnesota's got the puck to start the period. Not a lot of time left, though, on this power play. Cuts into the paint, and that's blocked. Here's a short pass to Bozak. No one home on that play. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Scrum ensues along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. St. Louis gets a strong effort from the PK unit as they kill it off. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Puck grabbed by Zuccarello. Directs it on over to Parisi. Great stick work with the steal. Throws it in. Perron's coaches want to get him back on the ice. When you see a player that's feeling it like this, James, he's got to go back and get into the game. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Feeds the puck to Shen. Takes the feed. To the low slot. The lane was plucked up and that shot's blocked. And now he moves it quickly to Dunn. Lays into the body. What a steal in his own end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Centering pass. Oh, comes up with the stop. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Play rolls on. Moves it to Zuccarello. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. 
he pounded that shot. But the goalie was in good position and made the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Minnesota's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Thomas is taken down. A penalty is coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Cole's getting called for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to bleed with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Moves the puck. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. That solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Quick pass to Johnson. Now a quick pass to Benino. And that's picked off in front. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. Minnesota's got the puck shorthanded. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Receives the pass. Quick snap. Pumps it in for the go ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. He had a sliver of room. Took off down the ice with the shorthanded goal. That breaks the tie. They still got to kill off the rest of the power play, but they're in a much better shape, obviously, now. The Wild have given themselves some breathing room here with a one-goal lead. It's because you're the only guy that knows how to work the controller. Your opponent doesn't. Minnesota's won it. Puck scooped up by McCaution. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Quick feed to Blake. Here he is, wristed on net. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Well, we figured these two rivals don't like each other, and they put that on display here. This period has been one of the most physical we've seen in a long time. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stones them in front. and takes the puck. Big time stop there. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear, and they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Puts it up front. Off his stick. Great glove save. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Talbot's reflexes are right on here. That's a howitzer that he turns aside. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Here he is, shot right in front. Blocked in traffic. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Blues have time for one last rush here on this power play. Scooped up along the wall by Shen. Here they come. Strong defensive effort. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Pokes it away in his own end. Stays with it. The Blues will take it behind the net. St. Louis can't connect on the power play, and not to mention they give up a shorthanded goal as well. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Nice dish from the left wing. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple place, the right one there. Takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Tries to feed it over to Thomas. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. 
Moves it quickly over to Eric Sinek. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabbed along the boards by Eric Sinek. Right up front! Lays the body. Made the save on the play. Sharp reaction save. They've got numbers. Slides it across. Breaks up the play with a poke check. And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. Takes a wrist shot. Denies him in front. Talbot's able to bail his defense out here. A bad pinch at the other end of the ice leads to a two-on-one. And he makes the save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Minnesota's leading by one. They're up 5-4. Here's a short pass to Fult. Slides the puck across to Blay. Oh, that was violent. That's a big hit, and it jars you right to the core when you get hit like that. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And that one's blocked. Takes the pass. Pucks the puck away. Moves it to play. The Blues carried along the wall. The one-time blast denies him. He got all of it. Handles the puck. Passes over to Zuccarello. Long lead pass up the center. Pokes the puck away. The Blues have it behind the cage. Stretch pass. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. On the attack along the boards. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. Goalie gets a little bit of this. Almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway. made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. From the slot, stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Shen. The Blues played along the boards. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. St. Louis has possession of it now. Quick pass to Krug. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Puck picked up by Sanford. Stones him on the play. St. Louis still trails here in the second, despite the fact that they've had more shots on goal. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Comes up with a big loss save! Spurgeon's got the puck in his own zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate! Comes up with the stop. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The Blues have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. And there's the save. Quick pass over to Perron. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. And the puck sails out of play and will get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. The setters will glide into the dot. This neutral zone face-off set to go and we are back underway. Here's a shot. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. St. Louis wins the draw. Puck sent over to Gunnarsson. 
They go on the attack from the left side. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Turn that chance aside. Dead center. Excellent save. Dishes it to Parisi. Sends it over. And that one's broken up. Great block there. He scores. But wait a second. They're calling it off here. I think it's the right call, too, James. That was pretty quick. I like when the official is sure about his call. Parise's shot is able to elude the goalie, but almost immediately you can see in his body language that he wonders if there's a problem. I thought this one was going to count, but clearly not here. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Nice job tying up his opponent. Knocks the puck loose. Quick feed to Zuccarello. Great save from in tight. Smothered that in close chance. Smart defensive play there. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. It's a two-on-one. Here's a chance. Oh, what a big time stop by Biddington. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Johansson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Moves it to Zuccarello. Takes the feed at the point. Big hit. Move to the middle. There's the collision. And that's taken by the defense. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Oh, what a blocker stop by Bennington. They said they wanted the forecheck better. This is a great example. Krug's carrying it ahead. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Krug's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Erickson X won it. Taken by Dumba. Slides the puck over. Takes the shot with the stop. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Turns him away! Minnesota's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise and team link zones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Minnesota's ahead in this high chance, high danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. And they'll dump it in. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Into the attacking area from the left side. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And that's blocked. The Blues get a hold of the puck. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. Moves the puck to the attacking area with authority. Schwartz is in the middle of everything offensively for his team tonight. He's had a couple of points already. And he's right back out on the ice as he goes for more. Let's get another look at that hit. This is a glass rattler right here. He thinks he's got room, but he does it now. He's up against the wall. The centermen glide into position. Off 
the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Sends a pass over. Parise's skills are evident, but what I like, James, is how he sees the ice so well. Everybody's a dangerous player when he's got the puck. Schwartz plays it against the boards. And he comes up with it. Talbot's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage of play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Minnesota's won the draw. Quick pass to Dumba. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. Dunn's got it in the defensive end. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. Here he is in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Quick feed to Sundquist. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And he sends it across to Hartman. That's a solid check on the play. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Bennington. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Sunfist won the faceoff. Directed over to Sanford. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Johnson's in good position to create a scoring chance, but he bobbles the puck and the chance is gone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Moves it to Hartman. And they fail to go tape to tape. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And now it's grabbed by Greenway. Here's a shot denied by Bennington. Minnesota's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a shot. Glove save. All quick reflexes on the play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. From the point, looks to make something happen. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Moves the puck to Perron. Here they are on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. Fialos lugging the puck. Pushes it across to Eriksson Ek. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Pucks it in deep, and they'll make a change. Up along the wing. The Blues have it behind the net. Quick pass to Barbashev. Tries to get it over to Blay. Sends it across. Takes it to the net. Way too much congestion blocks that. Poked away from danger. And that one's turned away. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Cole. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Couldn't complete the play. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. From the neutral zone now. Puck grabbed by Johansson. And he can't hang on after that hit. And they can't convert to the play. Oh, just a textbook hit. And look at this, a three on one. And it's a quick pass to Shen. Denies him with the save. Nice pass. Puck scooped up by Johansson. Centering pass. He scores. You talk about memorable nights. This has to be right up there. Man, it's like he's in practice. Every time he shoots the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. What a game for him. Somehow he got lost up in the high slot, and that pass comes to him. He one times it past the goalie.
The Wild have been nearly flawless tonight. Fair to say there, Razor? This has been one of their best games. Certainly their best in the last couple of weeks. They've had the puck most of the time. They've got this huge lead that they're just going to cruise in with. Greenway's moving the puck through his own zone. Assisted by number 90. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. And by number 97. Dumps it into the O zone. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over and makes the save. Bennington's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. Gets the puck in deep. Angles it over to Hartman. And he slides it quickly to Greenway. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it to Dumba. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Makes the save. Talbot's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Blues win the face-off. Perron's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Talbot's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. O'Reilly's won the draw. And that one's blocked! The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Denies him again. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to McCaution. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. And another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Moves it to Shen. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And there's the whistle, yet another penalty set to be handed out here. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Johansson's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Parisi's working it around in the corner. Nice poke check. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Scores! The power play cashed in earlier, they do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. He one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Minnesota's on fire tonight, and they show no signs slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. At center ice now, he grabs the puck, sends it in on the attack. The Blues have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Perron. St. Louis plays it along the wing. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Blues have it now. 
O'Reilly's picking up steam. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're going to win. And they've put together a long winning streak. Razor, long gone are the days where people try to beat traffic to leave here when you see stuff like this at the end of the game. Well, it makes you feel part of it. And so the fans stay, the players salute, and everybody feels like they're part of this one team. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.